Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick little video tonight about um, a my my latest creation. It's my uh, it's a shear for my uh, lead wire. As you all know, I made my uh, lead wire mold, and uh, obviously had to have I had to shear it to uh, to length and weight. So this is what I came up with. <clears throat> it's a pretty simple design, so I didn't really videotape the fabrication process. Um, so basically, um, all of the plate that you see here is all 3 8 uh, mild steel. The tube is, uh, I believe it's uh, 3 quarter, two, three, yeah, I think it's 3, no, it's 5 8 I'm sorry. 5 8 tube, uh, 16 gauge. The, uh, the handle is uh, 5 8 uh, just, I think it's just mild steel. And um, basically what I did was, I drilled a hole right here in this corner, and I'm gonna, I'll take the camera off and kind of walk you around it a little bit and uh, so you can get a good, good view of everything. This is the uh, platform, um, so we can spin a uh, different, uh, different length stop for different, obviously different size cuts of wire. Um, so let me take the camera off and give you guys a little bit better of a view of uh, some of the things I got going on here. So, this is a look from underneath. Okay. And I gotta change my. So, here's our plate. And that's how we, you know, I can spin this to adjust because when we cut, it's gonna drop out from underneath here. Okay. And basically what I'm doing to anchor it is just, I drilled holes just uh, using drywall screws here. Um, so there's really not that much force involved. So <clears throat> I'm finding that the drywall screws are working pretty good. And um, we can actually load it up. The way it works is uh, it's, a gravity, it's a gravity feed system. So can load the uh, ingots up in here in the tube, and um, we can we can run it a little bit here. Um, I have this set to drop uh, 150 grain coarse. That's what it's set to drop right now. Um, they go they they fluctuate a little bit between um, one. 50 and 152. Um, so here we go. Like I said, it's a gravity feed system. So, see, it's the best way for me to get out of the camera angle here and move the camera a little bit. Uh, let me just get the camera adjusted here, guys. Sorry. Alright, so I go ahead and cut it. And basically, I've built stops into this. So I got a stop back here and then when I push the ramp when I push the handle forward I have a stock a stop built up here so we can't overextend or anything and uh, just rotate this out of the way and right here's our here's our core and like I said they're dropping between 150 and uh, 152 um, fairly consistently so we just You can really crank these out, you know. I mean, if I wasn't videotaping, I could do, you know, I could do a bunch of these in a hurry. So, anyway, I mean, we just did three right there. We weren't really, weren't really trying that hard. So, anyway, that is my, uh, that's my wire shear, and um, you know, hopefully, guys, hopefully, some guys out there are, are checking this out and, you know, haven't bought theirs yet, or maybe give them an idea to modify theirs or whatever. Um, my whole philosophy is I like to post things um, that, you know, I, I may have seen ones of and I try to put a little twist on it and uh, hopefully, like I said, somebody else will see it and, you know, like the design and want to do it or, you know, um, 
take the design and you know go in a different direction with it, whatever. So um, anyway, that's my uh, that's my lead wire shear, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.